Let's talk about the size of our orbital. Okay, this is our principal quantum number. Uh, this is our n. Okay, again, um, it's kind of like Bohr's atom. Uh, this tells us the energy level of the electron. Okay. Um, <clears throat> in other words, it's the distance from the nucleus. So uh, the further, the larger your n value is, the further away that electron is from the nucleus. Okay. Possible values are integers of one or greater, and they can go to infinity. Okay, um, not necessarily realistically, but because we're looking at probabilities, there is a probability that the electron could go to infinity. Therefore, we do have to include it. Okay, it's not likely, but it's a possibility, so we have to include it. Okay. So for these n values, you want to kind of think of Bohr's atom. <clears throat> so when we have uh, n equals 1, essentially you can kind of think of it as a ring. We'll learn more of this concept in the next uh, quantum number. But essentially this would be n equals 1. n equals 2 is a bigger number, so it's going to be further away from, from the uh, nucleus, which means that any electron in the n equals 2 level because it's further away from the nucleus is going to have a higher energy. Okay, if you think about um, say holding uh, having a ball on the end of a string okay, in order to rotate that that ball around you say you're the nucleus uh, you don't have to twirl it as hard okay, but if you want that ball uh, further out you're going to have to put a little bit more energy into spinning uh, <clears throat> that ball so that it actually stays up. And if we go up to the next energy level, that's even further out. So you'd have to put more energy into getting that electron to continue moving. And <clears throat> so essentially you have a uh, low energy to higher energy. And essentially, that's what the uh, principal quantum number of n, that's, that's all there is to it. In the next video, I will talk about the principal uh, or the quantum number l and talk about what it means.